So my name is Hope Mwinzi, a trustee on the Pangani Alumni Association Committee, class of 99. One activity um, of the Pangani Alumni Association is to transfer skills and to mentor these girls. So today is an example of what uh, we have been doing, um, you know, today we have a careers day. When I started I didn't think We normally, you know, talk about, have different alumni come in to talk about their careers and their life, how they combine life and work. And it's been very interesting, we've had doctors, pilots, engineers, medicine, lawyers, photographers, storytellers like myself, you know, so many aspects. And all these are different careers. They really open their minds up to possibilities. The most important thing is to be able to look out for each other at each time in each in, in this particular sector, because at the end of the day, how they're going to progress into their life is really highly dependent on the kind of mentorship and also the kind of you know influence that they're going to also receive from other members. Okay. So what? Love what you do. Love it. Money will come. This organization started in the year 2015, but it became active in 2016. So we have a few projects here running currently. We have the mentorship program. We have the sponsorship program. We also have a peer counselors program that we are running. Uh, this one is supposed to equip the girls to be able to deal with some of the issues that their fellow girls might be having. So we felt that there's a need to equip them with this knowledge so that they are able to deal first hand with the problems. Then they will create um, levels of these issues that the girls have so they know what they can deal with and they know what they need to refer to the teachers and the teachers will also know, get to know what to refer to professionals outside. We also work very closely with the teachers to be able to see if there are any challenging bits in the society that we can help. This can be either from the family, from the financial bit, and also in encouraging. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I did home science. You know, nowadays I see people, you leave university, you want to start earning 150,000. That didn't work like that. So far we're educating 13 girls, but we're hoping for more because Pangadi being a national school has more needy kids than when we were here as it was a provincial school. So we're trying to target more alumni to join the fraternity and able to uh, help these kids. We need all this expertise. We have people who are professional counselors who are alumni of Pangani. Come, help us mentor these girls. There's a space for everyone to make a difference and I think you know, empowering our girls is, is really a place for all of us um, and, and we all need to you know, be part of that, creating that story for this girl. This is a place to start because we give these girls courage. They get to know, oh, I can do engineering, oh, I can do mathematics, oh, I can do aviation, oh, I can do this, I can do this. It really builds up their confidence to actually see another Pangani girl come in and say, I went through the same processes, I did the same chores that you did, I, did, I went through the same teachers that you went through, and look at me, this is where I am at. So it gives them that courage. So we'd really, really encourage them to come in and just hold hands with us. I was in 14. We plan to make it a full career day um, every term. So the whole point of mentoring is to make sure that we are looking after them throughout the whole process. We are really asking or trying to get the alumni to make commitments to specific girls so that they can even build a rapport with them. The last time we had a career talk, we were less than 10. Now it's a whole day affair, you know? So we are growing. We are growing and I wish so many ex pangarians could just join in because I know we are capable of making this thing a success. I believe if we came together, we'll make this the best alumina in Kenya. If we just came together and became one.